today we are going to talk about SSRS. So this is one of the component of uh, MSBN. Which are having the three component basically uh, SSIS, SSRS and SSS. Now we are going to talk about SSRS, right? So in MSBI, this is really a very important uh, component and we uh, need to understand it very carefully so today in this demo i am going to show you how we can create first ssrs project and how we can create first rdl so rdl is the extension for the uh, ssrs reporting file uh, rdl stand for report definition file basically report definition language and this is xml file it's xml file. if you if you want if you want to see the code for that okay now i'm going to show you how we can create the uh, reporting project first of all time search for the sql server data tool data tool okay and click double click on it when you will double click on it the uh, I, this kind of id will be open basically this is the visual studio for the data tool okay then go to the file section in the file section you will see different thing like a project a website team project and other option just click on the project when you click on the project you will get a one pop-up and that pop-up will show a different kind of uh, business intelligence solutions like a SSRS, uh, SSAS and SSRS and some other different kind of project which you can create in Visual Studio. Now this is uh, loading basically. So you will see here pop up and that pop up will have the different kind of project. Now we are going to select the SSRS project basically. So what so where we have to see it first of all you will see the one template called as the business intelligence in business intelligence go and select the reporting services in the reporting services you will see two kind of project the report server project visa and the report server project so i need and the empty project so i am selecting report server project if you want to change the name of your project you can change it i am giving it as the first ssrs you can also change the location of it so then click on ok when you will click on ok the empty ssrs project will be created so you can see here the status like a uh, creating project right and once this process has been then you will see something in the solution explorer in the solution explorer you will see different kind of thing like uh, like share data sources share data set and report let me talk about share data sources share data sources uh, here you will see all kind of shared uh, data sources data sources means from where we are, we are going to pull the data let's say if i'm pulling the data from the sql server i can see the common shared connection here share data set Shared data set are the uh, are the data set basically which uses the shared data sources reports reports are something where we will have the different kind of report okay so let me talk about something about id so when i create the solution for the ssrs i will see this three empty different uh, three this this three empty folders here right uh, and also i will see something in the server explorer toolbox anything okay now this project is empty so what i need to do i need to right click on the reports and then i need to add new reports so 
so basically there are two ways we can uh, create the report the first one is we can create the empty report or otherwise we can create the report with the reporting wizard now as this is the first uh, video i am going to show you the very easiest way to create the different report so report wizard is the very easiest option to create the different report so click on next here we have to specify a few things like a shared data source if you don't have then you can create on the fly data source now i don't have any shared data source right so what i what i can do here is i can create one new data source for this report otherwise then i will show you how to create a shared data source it's very simple add new data source right click on that give the name of first shared data source great then select the type of your server uh, it's a sql server and connection string go to the edit here you need to pass your server name uh, right when you click on this drop down you will see all different kind of servers and there you need to click on then select your database it will show you all the different databases i am selecting as the sql junction okay test connection connection succeeded click ok ok great now if you come here and if you will see double click on it you will see uh, this connection has been created uh, created successfully next is share data source add new data set you can ignore this step basically it's not required you can right click on it and click on the new report when you click on the new report you will see here the data source name that's the first day shared data source which we just have created uh, then we okay then click on the next next we have to type the query so i don't remember the query so i can i can create the query on the fly here okay 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 so uh, we can great uh, when i execute it okay and next this is the one query i just created uh, i can i can create basically two kind of report tabular and the matrix report uh, when we'll go for advanced advanced reporting we'll i will talk about matrix now i'm just talking about tabular to show you the tabular data then this is the column i have so where i want to see that column i want to see that column in detail section i can just move it on then next this is the report one preview report if you want to preview the report finish so what will happen so report one name of rdl and that rdl will be created and that rdl will have the structure like this let's wait we need to wait for some time because this is opening the RDL great finish when I click on the finish it will move back to me to the main RDL and there I will see the preview section because I just click on the preview report checkbox so I can see there okay so uh, we have just created rdl and that column and this is the rdl basically here it, we have the uh, column name as a dummy column here you can see the dummy column name right uh, you can change the name of your column also if you want call one
you can do anything with this you can expand it you can add one more extra column if you want to add then otherwise simplest way is to drag and drop like this great and if you click on the preview section you will see here the different columns here and this kind of data like a dummy dummy column one dummy column two like this so this is the best and simplest way to understand how i can start with the ssrs project where i can how i can create the shared data source where i can uh, create the dummy report okay now if you want to change the query you can change the query also now i am adding query like this as a two dummy one one right uh, click on ok now when you'll come here you will see these two new columns has been added right now what i'm going to do i'm deleting entire report here now i want to add manually here so how i could do that so i want to drag a table then drag this columns here like this right and i can if i go to and preview i will see the structure like this right so this is the rdl this is empty rdl we have created how to change the data set we also seen how to create the shared data sources here if you'll come here you'll see the shared data sources uh, we'll talk about all these different sections in the next video and uh, we'll understand more in detail don't worry if you didn't get anything about this uh, video but my intention was to uh, get you familiar with the ssrs hope you like and enjoyed our video and thanks for watching have a great day if you like our video please don't forget to subscribe us it will motivate us to uh, create more videos thank you